Hello and welcome to this demonstration in which I'm going to show you how to design this Easter themed chocolate mold using Arkham Standard 2017. So the first thing I'm going to do is jump into Arkham and create a new model. It's going to be 180 by 250 with my units in millimeters, the resolution as high as possible and my origin in the center of the model. I'm now going to create an ellipse, which is going to be 52 by 67. I'm going to click on create. The next thing I'm going to do is modify this shape. So enter node editing mode by pressing N on your keyboard and insert some mid nodes here by pressing M on my keyboard while I hover with my mouse over the span I need like so. I'm now going to move these two top nodes downwards by one millimeter and the same for these two bottom nodes. And I'm going to choose this top right node and the bottom left one and move them towards the left by one millimeter and then these two right by one millimeter and then select my two middle nodes and move them downwards by two millimeters. And now I have an egg shape. Okay? Next thing I'm going to do is create a rectangle. This is going to be 140 by 201 with 30 millimeters corner radius. Now I would like to use some guidelines. So I want basically to insert three X guidelines. and four Y guidelines. I'm going to snap two of the Y guidelines to the end of my model. The X ones, same thing. And then I'm going to double click on this and move it to zero millimeters. For these ones, again, double click, move them to 33.5 for one and minus 33.5 for the other. I can now rotate my egg by 45 degrees clockwise and basically what I want to do is center this egg in these six rectangles okay so first of all I'm going to recreate these rectangles and that's why I needed the guidelines so create one click on create exit the tool and then mirror this so make sure you copy the original objects and copy that across the model then shift select the old one over and then top okay so we now have those six rectangles we need to then center our X. Okay? So I can now select my egg, shift select my rectangle, right click, align, center. I can now create five copies of this by holding my control key and then just move it anywhere for now because we now need to center them as well. Now we've done this, we don't need the rectangles anymore, so we can delete them. We can select these three eggs and move them towards the center of my mold by three millimeters and do the same for these left ones. Okay, once we're happy with these, we can now save this model because we don't need it anymore. But first, let me export this egg shape. So vector, export, and just call it egg. Next, I can save my model.
Once I'm done with this, I'm going to use some images I've downloaded off the internet for the decorations. So first I'm going to import this bunny. I don't need to save my changes as I've already exported my vector and saved my model. Say OK. Switch to the 2D view and what we want to do now is retrace around the face of this bunny by using polylines. So I'm going to use a combination of smooth and sharp polylines to recreate the face of this bunny. So, once you're done with this, don't forget, in case you want to modify what you've just created, you can select the vector and enter node editing mode once again. So, for example, I'm going to move this node a bit inwards and this one here. Once I'm happy with this, and I am at the moment, I can think about the rest of the face. So, create circles. Let's say 5 millimeters in radius and another one here, let's say 10 millimeters. I can now select them both, hold my control key down and copy them across. Now I'm going to quickly modify this shape to have it less perfect. So node editing mode and move some nodes around. Same for this one here. Once I'm happy, I can think of this last part. So again, polylines, a combination of smooth and sharp. Once again, don't forget, in case you don't like what you've done, you can always edit it with node editing mode. Also, it's important to bear in mind this will just be a very tiny part of our model, so you can't really see much how these will look like once on the mold. Okay, so don't lose too much time perfecting it. If I'm happy with this, I can now select all of these vectors, close node editing mode, and go vector export. Call this bunny. And then I'm ready to open the next image I've downloaded, which is this egg pattern here. Say OK to this. And now we want to basically recreate not all of it, but some of what you can see in the image. So first thing, let's import the egg vector. In the center of the model is fine. I want to enter the transform tool first of all and rotate this by 45 degrees anti-clockwise. I can close this down and I want to center in this part in the model first and then re-enter the transform tool and make it 161 in width. I'm maintaining the aspect ratio. Don't worry if it doesn't look exactly the same. It doesn't have to. I'm going to recreate some of these patterns here, okay? So first, this zigzag. I don't want smooth polylines, but I want to add to existing line. So I'm just going to recreate this, starting from the center, and then hit the space bar, and do the same on the left-hand side. So this will create an individual line. I'm going to do the same here. But for the bottom ones, I don't want to create these as sharp lines, but as smooth lines. So again, same principle, they will just look different. Like so. And the last one. Like so. 
I now want to create some circles, so I'm just going to create one for now, create, and then create four copies. I just want to create some circles, so I'll create one, create, close this down, and then with my control key, I'm going to create four copies. Once I'm happy, I can now select all of my vectors and go Vector, Merge, Explode. So I can now get rid of all of these tiny bits that I don't need. And then select these vectors, so this top part, right-click and join them with coincident nodes. Then I want to do the same for these four vectors here. Once I'm happy, I can select them all and go Vector, Export, and call this Pattern. So we can now reopen our main model We don't need to save our changes as we've already exported the vectors. Switch to the 2D view and we can now start to import the vectors we've just created. So let's start with the bunny. Transform tool. Let's make this 35 millimeters in width and then rotate 45 degrees clockwise. I can create two more copies of these because I'm now going to center them in my X. So align, center, like we've done before. The last one. For the other three, I'm going to import my pattern. Okay, so transform tool once again. 52 millimeters in width and then rotate 45 degrees clockwise and I can now first let's create copies of this and then center them in my egg okay so align center same here and for the last one So what I'm going to do now is shift select all of my decorations vectors, move them to a new layer and call this layer decorations. And now I've got them all selected. I can also right click and ungroup them all. I can hide this for now Go back into the 3D view, make the default layer active, and I can think about the actual shapes. So I'm going to select my six eggs, enter the shape editor, round shape, minus 70 degrees, add, okay? So that will basically subtract a shape of 70 degrees. I'm not closing my tool because I'm going to select my external vector, plane, start height of 22. Okay? Click on apply and now I can close it, inspect it. And if I'm happy, I can bring back my decorations and start to think about those. So, the first thing I want to do is the outer shape of the bunnies. Shape Editor once again, round shape, and what we want is a 15 degrees round shape with a start height of 0.8 of a millimeter. And then we want to set our relief combine mode to subtract. Click on apply, display the vectors again, and I can now select my eyes and nose vectors because I'm going to apply some shapes to them too. So, round shape, 45 degrees is fine, 
0.2 of a millimeter of a start height and subtract. Again, I'm not closing my tool because I want to create some shapes for these cheeks. Round 23 degrees, 0.1 of a millimeter, and again subtract. Apply, close this down, and inspect my design. So I'm happy with this at the moment. I can think of the other pattern vectors. So I'm going to select all of my zigzags, the smooth and the sharp ones, shape editor. In this case, I want a plane, one millimeter star height, and the wonder leaf combine mode set to add this time. Click apply. And now all I need to do is select my circles. So once I've selected them all, shape editor, round shape, 30 degrees, 0.1 of a millimeter of start height, and the leaf combine mode set to subtract. Click on apply. So in theory, the design is done, but I can see I've got some strange combination of relief happening here. It's not a big problem. All I need to do is select my outermost vector, re-enter the shape editor, and change the relief combined mode to merge low. And as you can see, those spikes are now gone. Click on apply, close this down once again. Finishing touches, so Let's make the decorations invisible so I can box select my six eggs. Enter the smooth relief tool. I want to smooth the inside of the selected vectors. Let's set this to 15% and click on apply. Once I'm happy, I can just apply some draft so that once I pour the silicon into my mold, it's going to be easier to take it out after it's cooled down, like so. And the last thing is invert the relief in Z. So using this function here. OK. So we're done with the design. We now need to think about the two parts. So I'm going to use the outside vector as a reference, but I want to offset it so that it includes the sides uh, of my mold as well. So offset by clicking O on your keyboard, three millimeters outwards, and I deleted my original vector because I don't need it anymore. So I've got my vector still selected, enter the toolpaths menu and say machine relief. So I want to machine the inside of my selected vectors with a 1.5 millimeters ball nose as a finishing tool and a 6 millimeters end mill for my wrapping strategy. My material is going to be 22 millimeters thick. I can click on calculate now and this will calculate my tool parts. So I can close this down now because the tool path has calculated and to see the results I can right click and say simulate all tool paths in high detail. We will see the results on the screen. We can also change the material, so the appearance of the simulation and we will do that in a second. I just go in simulation and change the material to blue wax. So, the last thing we need to do is export these toolpaths. So, just right click on toolpaths and say save toolpath as. We've got two, give it a name, a folder, choose your machine file format. I'm just going to go for a generic G code in millimeters. And then I want to save this toolpath to separate files in case I don't have an automatic tool changer and append their details to their file name. Click on save and then if you browse to the folder where you save this, 
You can open this with Notepad++, which is a free software you can get off the internet, and inspect your G-code. So, this concludes my demonstration in which I've showed you how to create this Easter team silicon mold using Arkham Standard 2017. Thanks for watching.